Chapter 8, Gong for Good. Okay. I guess we'll find out what that means. It's the start of week two! Oh my god, it is. We're halfway through this thing. Woo! Get pumped! Yay. As I approach the field with my bag, I notice something a little odd. Instead of practicing, the color guard is grouped at the podium, looking around as if searching for something or someone. Well, rip, Garth. <laughs> I'll find you one day. Hey, Sabrina. What's going on? Garth is late. What? Seriously? But he's never late. Exactly. That's why I'm concerned. Where could he be? He never said he wouldn't be here. Maybe we should ask his roommate. Not necessary. I had to remember who that was for a second. Garth was sent home sick last night. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! Is he okay? No, Cadence. He's got bird flu. Bird flu? Swine flu. I don't know, some kind of flu. I don't remember him specifying what he was sick with last time. But he seemed fine over the weekend. It came on real fast. It wasn't a pretty sight. I couldn't risk infecting more band members at such a critical time, so I had his parents come pick him up. Oh. But he's been running all of our practices. What will we do without him? Hmm. I guess running the practices falls to you, Sabrina. Until he gets back. W wow Good talk. Yep. Let's all hope he gets well soon. In the meantime, give it your all in practice. Yes, sir. We're learning the drill to Mercury today. It's a pit feature. Oh, it's a pit feature. We'll probably start on the closer Jupiter tomorrow. Hey! Hey! What, you're not participating in beach day? Every day is beach day for Doug. Huh? Beach day? Um, it's spirit week. Oh, I guess that explains all of the bathing suits. Yep. You look great, by the way. Like a cool, refreshing jug of iced tea. Was that a compliment? Yep, iced tea is the best. <laughs> well, thanks. You look good too. Even if it's your usual look, it works for beach day. Especially the shark tooth necklace. Oh, this? He pinches it between his fingers and holds it up for me to get a better look. It's so cool. Is it real? Oh yeah, funny story. You bet. In fact, there's a funny story behind this. Well, later. Shoot! Out of time. You can tell me later. Let's go. Everybody here? Um... I scan the crowd of band kids. Actually, it looks like a number of kids are missing this morning. Uh... Buttheads, a lot of them. Oh well, that means they get to miss out on what we're doing next. And that's their loss. I have a fun activity to start off our second week in band camp. Uh, fun as in your kind of fun or our kind of fun? Same difference. <laughs> Not necessarily. For example, you might think three run-throughs in a row is fun, but we don't. Enough! You're wasting daylight! What is the activity, Mr. Wiley? Trust Falls! Trust Falls? That's right. As a band, we've got to foster trust. Trust in ourselves and trust in each other. So grab a partner from your section and get ready to fall backwards into their arms. Everyone begins partnering up. I'm left standing on the sidelines, sectionless and thus partnerless. My high spirits lower just a bit. Cadence, come be my partner. Oh! But I'm not in your section. <laughs> As he has to keep reminding us. We're the drum line, and you're the drum major, remember? He's right, Cadence. There's a special connection between the center snare drummer and the drum major. You have to trust in each other. The center snare? But that's Aaron. <laughs> hmm... Well, I mean, if I have to do it, I guess. Sorry, Doug. <laughs> I love you, but Aaron. Be 
Peter? I said partner up within your section. Leave your brother alone. I know what you're plotting. Oh, thank you for saving Alex. Mr. Wiley rushes off, leaving me to my decision. Come on, Cadence. Over here. I can do it with Aaron. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How? No, that's so cruel. <laughs> oh, I'll do it on a bad ending. It's fine. I mean, I do love Doug. Doug, you're great. <laughs> I just, I had the opportunity. You know how much I love you, and I'm passing up Aaron for you, okay? I'm coming! I jog my way over to the drum line, where Doug is waiting with open arms. Do you want to go first, or should I? How am I going to catch you, is my question. <laughs> Ooh, look at the two lovebirds. It's like a relationship exercise for them. If one of them drops the other, it's over. Trust me. There's no way I'll drop her. Come on, Cadence, we'll show them. Turn around. I guess I'm going first. <clears throat> I turn around and take a deep breath. I can feel the drum line watching us. Don't let me down, Doug. I've got you. Fall into my arms. I squeeze my eyes shut, trying not to blush. How can he say that so casually? I don't think he even realizes it when he says stuff like that. Go already! Fine! I let myself fall backwards. For one long second, I'm weightless and let out a tiny scream. Then, strong arms catch me. Gotcha! And he doesn't stop there. Doug lifts me right off the ground and holds me high up like a baby lion cub. Simba. Oh yeah! I did it! Good job, Doug! Uh, you can put me down now. He does. My turn! He whirls around and flops backwards. Was I ready? Doug, wait! I barely managed to stop him from crushing me. With all of my strength, I push him upright. It's like stopping a collapsing tower from falling. I... I did it too! The relationship was a success! I mean, the trust exercise! You did. I'm proud of you. He pats my head, yay, and I can't help but smile. Worth it for the head pat. After Trust Falls, Mr. Wiley addresses the band and tells us what to expect this week. Bring it in! I know this is a week to have fun and be a little goofy, but we still have to make the most of this time. We only have five days left until we return to reality. Ugh. Don't remind me. Let's go! But until then, we're going to eat, breathe, and sleep band! And never stop getting better! Everyone cheers. Re-energized by yesterday's break, we tackle a long-winded basic session with fervor. Mr. Wiley is pretty good about giving us water breaks today. I feel optimistic. It's going to be a good week. Okay, section leaders. Come get the drill for the pit. Uh... Yep. It finally hit her. Oh my god. The pit. The pit feature! G -g -g They're right over there, loitering in the end zone. I completely forgot about them. Have they been hanging out here this whole time? <laughs> she looks like she's gonna die. Marion! Poor Marion. Mr. Wiley seems to notice them right when I do. What are you all still doing here? Get behind the potties and get to practicing. Y yes sir She leaves, looking like she's going to throw up. I think I might, too. Okay. Well, let's see how long it takes for him to notice. Wins, put your instruments aside. We're going to add some spice to what we already know. Everyone does as he says. Dog! Do you play a wind instrument? No! Pick up your drum and get back in line! He has the band go to the beginning of the show, where there are a lot of holds. Oh! We're adding poses to the show! I always love doing this. Cadence, <laughs> now's not the time. For this part, I want all of you to pose like... Like Roman gods! Look powerful! Look intense! Oh! We can pick our own poses? Cool! He clasps his hands behind his back and twists them in a way that no human should be capable of. Oh, God! 
Pop Tart! Pop Tart, stop! Ask the sane part of your mind if that is something you should do the next time you're tempted to do it. S sorry. Thomas. Huh? <laughs> he dabbed. Tom, you're iconic. I love it. Roman gods do not dab. Sorry. He begins experimenting with various anime poses instead. Sure. Everyone should take a look at Peter. That's the pose of a god if I ever saw one. It's true. What can I say? Being a god comes pretty naturally to me. Eh, <laughs> I watch everyone else try out poses. Samuel is looking pretty cool down on one knee, as though gazing down through the heavens and surveying his kingdom. Clark, meanwhile, wields his imaginary clarinet like a spear or a trident. Wait. His... His clarinet is imaginary, or does he actually have the clarinet? <laughs> is he just ima If I had a clarinet, this is what I would be doing with it. The flutes are trying to coordinate some kind of group pose. I can hear them calling each other goddesses, of course. I feel a little left out. For my own amusement, I pick out the pose I would do in my head. Yes, that's the one. I look like such a badass. All right. Okay, let's try putting this with the show. Drumline playing only. I count off. The drums start up and Mr. Wiley immediately cuts them off. Doug! Doug stands with his arms and legs spread wide, holding his drumsticks up almost heroically. He looks pretty proud of himself. Yo? Yeah. The drums are not supposed to be posing right now. You're supposed to be playing. Oh man. I wanted to do a cool pose. I feel your pain, Doug. For the entire morning practice, I nurse a ball of nerves in my stomach. I keep expecting Mr. Wiley to wander over to visit the pit kids and dissolve into a screaming fit, but he never does. I can't see them, but I assume they're all sitting behind the porta potties wondering what to do with themselves. Probably feeling as sick as I do. But nothing happens. Mr. Wiley stays in the football field, directing the winds. Yeah, that's the thing. He kind of ignores them. That might work in our favor for a little bit. The next thing I know, practice is over. After packing up, I wind up wandering over to see the pit. Hey guys. Are you kidding me? Did that really just happen? Sorry? Wow. Mr. Wiley didn't find us out. I'd be insulted if I wasn't so relieved. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. Is it? Y yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe you could go the rest of band camp without getting found out. <laughs> You're right. It is kind of funny. Really? I mean, I didn't expect you to agree with me. Well, I'm a little bit sick of crying over it constantly. I might as well laugh. Ah, guilt, my old friend. It hurts. I suppose. I'll continue my search. Goodbye. Goodbye. Time for lunch. I'll sit with my friends today. <laughs> Where's your other half? Uh... Hey! <laughs> muffin top, please. There's my little muffin top! Doug sits down in the seat I saved for him, his plate piled high with food. Muffin top? <laughs> you calling me fat? <laughs> that, was where, that was where my mind went to. <laughs> You know what? There's my favorite chocolate donut with sprinkles. We made him blush with that. Are you kidding me? Amazing. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh my gosh, look at him laugh. He's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, get out of here. I'm, I don't want to deal with your jealous antics. Go away. I think I just threw up in my mouth. Ew. That's disgusting, Peter. I'm not kissing you for the rest of the day. Well, it worked out for you, Peter. I ignore them. And so does Doug, who continues to smile to himself. <laughs> the band is having sectionals, so I wander the building, as per usual, just making sure everyone is doing their job. <laughs> 
What's going on? Get it off! Get it off! Oh! I can't! It's stuck! What are you two doing here? You should be at sectionals! Drum and Drummer turn to face me, their eyes wide with horror. But nothing seems to be out of place. It looks to me like they're just goofing off as usual. I muster a commanding glare and affix them in it. Get going! Aaron is waiting for you. Neither say anything. Instead, they both raise their fists, clutching a drumstick in each hand. What? They open their fists, but instead of falling to the ground, the drumsticks stay stuck to their skin. What am I looking at? Some kind of magic trick? Our drumsticks got super glued to our hands. Excuse me? Don't tell Mr. Wiley, please! We can't have this! I can't believe I'm going to have to live the rest of my life with drumsticks for hands. They'll start calling me Edward Drumstick Hands. My name's not even Edward. Oh boy. That's enough! You're not going to be super glued to your drumsticks forever. Come with me, quickly. I drag the drummers back to my room and bring out a bottle of nail polish remover. Good thinking. This is stupid. The hell? I don't wear nail polish. This chick has lost it. No, I have not lost it. This will dissolve the glue. Then make sure you wash it off afterwards. They try to snatch the bottle from me, but their drumstick hands hinder them from getting a grip and they wind up knocking it out of my hands. Hey! Jeez, you're lucky that didn't break. Here. I wind up having to rub the remover on their skin for them. Nice. The things we do. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Your hands are so soft. Ew. Please stop talking. Why would you even bring nail polish remover to band camp? To drown ticks. I hate ticks. Damn, girl, you savage. Ah, there. You're free. They rub their hands, looking relieved. Aaron! Bro, let's go. Aaron's gonna be pissed if we're late again. I hope they remember their drumsticks this time. They run off without so much as a thank you. You're welcome. Wait a second. How did they get their hands glued to their drumsticks in the first place? I forgot to ask. Oh well, knowing them, they were probably doing something idiotic. Probably. The evening blurs past, and eventually it's time for our last practice of the day. I can't believe we made it this far without Mr. Wiley finding out about the pit. I hope our luck continues to hold. I'm on the podium to conduct the band tonight, but there are a lot of long lulls in between sets as Mr. Wiley works with various sections. I stand there, spacing out, until I feel someone watching me. <laughs> Hi, Doug. I catch Doug's eye from across the field. When I do, his eyes light up and his smile broadens. I smile back, slightly embarrassed, and give him a little wave. He raises a drumstick and twirls it in what I think is an effort to impress me. Instead, he accidentally launches it into the air and it smacks Drummer in the face. Whoa! Ouch! What the hell, dude? I cover my face to hide my laughter as Mr. Wiley calls for a reset. Worth it. The practice drags on at a snail's pace. When I'm not doing anything on the podium, I can't help but listen towards the back of the field where the drum line is. Dude. Don't you think the Blue Mountain football coach kind of looks like a mole? Is that a bird? Focus. Doug, shut up and get set. Whoa! What kind of bird is that flying towards the lake? It has a long neck like a giraffe. Whoa! Doug. I struggle to hide my smile and stay focused on rehearsal. Everyone, get set! Pretty good job so far tonight, everyone! Set up the top of Mercury! It's time to piece together the pit feature! Woohoo! Wait... Let's go! I keep forgetting. <laughs> pit! Get over here! Yep, it's time. My stomach drops. I can feel Doug's horror-stricken eyes on me, but I can't look at him. My eyes are fixed on the distant porta potty, shielding the instrumentless pit from view. There's a long pause. 
Then, one by one, the pit files out from behind the potties and onto the field, Marion in the lead. Mr. Wiley goes to meet them, a firm frown of confusion on his face. I can see his lips moving to voice a question. I don't have to hear it to know what he's asking. Marion answers him. Mr. Wiley takes a step back, stricken with this new information. And I know there's no going back from what we did. Not now. I mean, that, that ship sailed days ago. Slowly, he makes his way back to the front of the field. And there's the face. The pit instruments seem to have gone missing. What? We can't hear you from back here. I, I would so much. I would so much. Ah! The pit instruments have gone missing. What? The hell? You're joking. Whoever did this, you better confess right now. This is not a very funny joke. Doug, Doug, don't, Doug, keep it cool, keep it cool, Doug. I felt like I was going to be sick earlier, but that was nothing. Now I feel like I'm going to start projectile vomiting. I try to look as innocent as possible, scanning my fellow band members with wandering, wondering eyes that beg to know who could have possibly done such a terrible thing. Instruments down! We're doing a sweep of the camp, and we're not going to rest until we find these instruments. But, 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 but Mr. Wiley, I told you, we already looked everywhere. Impossible. Obviously, you didn't look hard enough, or else you would have found the instruments, Marion. Also, I'm very disappointed you didn't come to me about this sooner. I'm so sorry. What are you all dilly-dallying for? Get to searching! We abandon our practice to start looking. I scurry down from my podium and make my way through the dispersing crowd towards Doug. Cadence. What do we- I bet someone stuck them in the woods. Let's look there. I grab his hand and pull him along with me. No one follows us. Good. This is all my fault. <laughs> Darn right it is. No, no, no. I'll, I'll accept some of the blame for this. No, Doug. It's my fault as much as it is yours. Don't take all the blame on yourself. It's okay. I'll confess to Mr. Wiley. It might get me kicked out of the band, but at least you'll get to stay. No one is getting kicked out of band. Especially not you. So what do we do? I... I don't think we should tell him. Especially with how angry he is at the moment. Then when would be a good time to tell him? When he calms down? Maybe. We'll use our best judgment. Oh man. I'm so getting triple murdered. Triple? Uh, Marion? Mr. Wiley, Aaron? I shudder. Uh, I guess we'll just have to hope whoever gets to us first makes it quick. I think Marion would show some mercy. Trust me. No way. She'd drag it out and make it as painful as possible. What about Aaron? He'd make it as humiliating as possible. We both force a laugh. The sound echoes through the dark woods around us. We'd better get to looking. Doug, do you think anyone will look in the lake? Oh! <laughs> Pop-Tart! Pop-Tart, not like this! Pop-Tart! Shh! Come! Join our conspiracy! The lake? Is that where the pit instruments are? <laughs> oh my goodness! Why are you terrifying looking like that? Like, that is a yandere smile, sir. You need to calm down with that. Just well, take it down a notch, sir. Yeah! Clever. Hmm, so that's why you wouldn't let me say hello to the water snake the other day. It never existed to begin with. With this information, I could be a hero and save the day. Pop-Tart, you're scaring me. Pop-Tart! Where did you come from? If you two are trying to hide the secret, you'll want to look less suspicious than running straight into the woods while everyone else wanders around aimlessly. How are 
we at this point? <laughs> what am I doing here? Okay, Pop Tart, Pop Tart, my my boy, my sweet, my sweet little boy. My, mm, mm. I don't want to threaten him, especially when he smiles like that. That's <laughs> seems like a bad, a bad plan. I don't even know what I'd begin to bribe him with. Desserts? But he wants to be a hero. Is, does desserts outweigh being a hero? Okay, I think we can safely take Threaten off the table. I'm gonna try to reason with him. And hope this works. We're all teenagers here. <laughs> We're all mature teenagers here, right? Pop-Tart, please. Please don't tell anyone what you heard. That you hid the pet instruments in the lake? Y yes that Why? Why would you do that? Maybe we should explain to him what's going on. I tearfully tell Pop-Tart everything that happened. That we accidentally broke the pit instruments and we didn't know what to do. We panicked. And now we're in far too deep. So it wasn't a prank. That's good to know. Are you going to tell Mr. Wiley? No. I decided not to. That is a decision you'll have to make on your own. Oh, thank you. But he can hold us accountable. Like, you gotta tell him at some point. <laughs> I feel as if a weight has been lifted in my chest. A small one, but still. Really? You're not going to tell? You promise? Promise. He holds out his pinky. Before I can take it, Doug steps forward and pounds Pop-Tart on the back. Little buddy! Thanks! You're a real pal! Ow! That hurts! Sorry, Popsicle. Uh... Something wrong? Oh! I was wondering where I recognized you from. You were in my English class last year. You're the guy who shouted in the middle of class, Did they just have sex? While the teacher was reading us Shakespeare. Nice. <laughs> Doug, you didn't. And the teacher was like, Thank you, Doug. Moving on. He's a legend among my grade. <laughs> yup, that was me. I really need a filter. Anyways, we better start looking for the missing pet instruments. Where do you think they might be? He pretends to check behind a nearby tree. Oh, he's good. Hmm, we're gonna be sneaky snake with that boy on his route. I don't know, but this is as good a place to start as any. Right? The hours drag on. The moon rises higher and higher into the sky as my eyelids dip lower and lower. It's well past midnight when Mr. Wiley finally gathers us all and calls off the search. Get to bed. We still have practice tomorrow. But what about- I'll figure out what to do with you tomorrow. Mr. Wiley stalks towards his cottage, shoulders rigid with tension. I don't dare approach him. Doug and I hold hands all the way back to my room. Man, I wish I could be so blase. <laughs> Just like, and then we held hands. I'm pretty sure my palms are sweating, but Doug doesn't seem to care if he notices. Good night, Doug. Sweet dreams. Good night, Cadence. To my surprise, he takes me in his arms. Oh, he's so warm. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I hope you're right, Doug. I've got you. Aw, that was sweet. I feel safe with his strong arm slightly crushing my body. He squeezes me just a bit tighter, holding on longer than I expected him to. And yet, it's all too soon when he pulls away and departs for his room. But not before casting me one last reassuring smile. That's crazy! I don't get it! How does an entire pit go missing? It seems impossible. Right? Ugh, I sure hope someone finds the instruments, or else Mr. Wiley is going to be in a crappy mood for the rest of the week. Crappy? 
might be the understatement of the century. But there's no time to dwell on it. As soon as I'm in my bed, I'm out like a light. I really hope everything works itself out. Somehow. <laughs>